friends, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Little Wing, but not recorded by Jimi Hendrix. This lesson is going to be on a live version as recorded by Eric Clapton with Sheryl Crow. Now I heard this version a few years ago on YouTube and just thought it was an incredible version and I wanted to do a lesson on it and show you some of the tweaks that Clapton made on this classic song that really make it unique. The first thing is that the key, you know, the original version, Hendrix plays basically in like E minor on guitar, but it's tuned down a half step. Now in the Clapton version, he actually raised the key and moved it up to the key of F sharp. So I'm going to break down that version and also show you some little twists, this little opening part that we're going to begin with that uses some power chords and slides it around. And that's definitely not on the Hendrix version. Before we jump in though, if you're new, I want to hook you up with something right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck and I want to give it to you completely for free just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below and this is a system that I use for basically mapping out all the notes and how to play in any key. I use this when I'm playing anything on guitar. So whether it's taking a solo or going through a chord progression, I'm thinking about this. And I put it all on one page for you. So it's just a simple PDF that you can download, print it out, and keep it on your music stand or on your desktop as a super handy resource. So just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy completely for free. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Little Wing as recorded by Eric Clapton with Sheryl Crow. Now this is a live version that you can check out here on YouTube and it also features David Sanborn on saxophone as well. Now, I want to point out some really cool things that Clapton did with this version as opposed to, of course, the original by Jimi Hendrix, which I've played for years. And we're going to start off with this opening part that's one of the cool changes that Clapton did. And here's what it sounds like. So we have this awesome little chord progression here that sort of tags each verse. And it starts off with the intro on an E5. And this is just a power chord up here at the seventh fret, starting on the fifth string. We're gonna play seven, then nine, and nine. That's your E5 power chord. Now we're gonna move that up we're going to use the same shape. We're going to move it up and down. So first we'll take it up two frets to 9, 11, and 11. Then drop it down to 5, 7, 7. So it's got this... Okay, so D, then F sharp, D, E. Now rhythmically here, we're going to go... Here's a simple version. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So it's three beats on that E5. Then on beat four, we'll go four and one, and just do one strum each, moving between the F sharp and the D5. Then back up to E5 for the next bar, the downbeat. So one, two, three, four, and does this these cool little like flurry strums in there and it's just a quick down up before the next down so it's like down down up, down down up, down down up, and then down 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 it's just real loose with the wrist there down up down so you're gonna add that in Then on the fourth time, we'll just stay on E. 
Clapton. Then while she is walking, then we go into the main progression. Now Clapton at the top just plays a solo. He just comes in. Of course, you know why start with the vocal? You know lyrics. That's that's just wasted time in between guitar solos. No, just kidding. But he, he of course starts it off with a solo, and then he comes in singing. But here's the progression we're gonna play. Now he comes in singing right there. So for this main progression, we're going to use some bar chords and some open chords. Now I'm copying the way Clapton plays it. You can see him he, in that video. He plays an F sharp minor like this, which is that first chord. So I use the thumb, you know, copying Clapton, but that's, that's tough to do. So the easiest way, you know, with just a simple bar chord would be two, four, four, two, two, two. So that's your F sharp minor. If you can, you bring this down and then put your thumb on. And it's funny, you know, these thumb chords, once your thumb gets used to it, it makes bar chords way easier. Like this is actually way harder for me to play than this now that my thumb is used to that. So F sharp minor here, and then we're gonna go to an A chord. And that's just one finger here from the fifth string down, open, two, two, two. Then we'll go up to B minor. Clapton plays like this, two, four, four, three, two. Just a minor bar chord from the fifth string down. And then back to F sharp minor. So that's the first four bars. Now each chord here lasts four counts. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four to A, two, three, four, up to B minor, two, three, four, and F sharp minor. So all of this is the same chords to Little Wing, the original, but we're in a different key. And that's one of the things that is so cool about this is, you know, Jimi Hendrix usually goes. And he does this, he's playing it in E minor on guitar, but he's tuned down. So it's like E flat, but technically E minor, you know, for the shapes. Now Clapton takes it up a whole step. So, you know, Hendrix is down here. Well, she's walking. You know, but Clapton is. Well, she's walking. You know, he takes it way up. It's a higher key. And there's just something about it in this key that just sounds really cool. So those first four bars, one, two, three, four, A, three, four, then B minor, two, three, four, then F sharp minor, two, three, four. Okay, with the strumming pattern here, you could do something like... So I'm going one and two E and a... So it's like down, 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 up. And on that second beat, sometimes I'll play like a kind of a staccato strum. Just to give like a little bit of a backbeat feel. Two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Okay, then we go to the next four bars, which go like this. Then that change, right? Just like the intro, which is that's not on the Hendrix version. So what I played here was C sharp minor, which is a bar chord here at the fourth fret, four six six five four. That lasts for a bar one, two, three, four. 
Then we're gonna start going to two beats per chord. We're gonna play B minor again, then up to D, you know, which you could do a fifth fret here, five, seven, seven, seven. Or you could do, you know, D like this. I think Clapton goes up to this one. Then he goes down to A, then G5, which is like your G chord, but I don't play that index finger. And then you could go nicely to D from there. Now, the thing about the rhythm on this is two beats per chord. We're gonna go B minor, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and at the end, a little wing here, at the end of the phrase, we have a two, four bar. So we're gonna go one, and two, and one. two bars there of that pattern. We'll just hang on the E in the second bar. And then, then we're back to the top of the progression. So here's everything played one time through. So we're gonna start with that four bar intro, then we'll go into the main progression. And I'm when I go to the main progression, I'm just one and two e and a three and four e and a, just playing that same strumming pattern throughout. Here we go, one, two, three, intro. Hang on E, and main progression. sharp minor. Congrats on making it through this classic little wing guitar lesson. Be sure to take your time with all those chords, some of the shapes and the two four bar. There's a lot in this song. And then of course, you know, we have the Hendrix version as well, which is tuned down and just an amazing version. So I wanted to do this lesson today on the Eric Clapton and Cheryl Crow version. If you all would like to see me do a lesson on the Hendrix one, let me know down below. And once you get these sections together, you know, the different rhythms and stuff, then go and try and play it along with the recording. So you can just go on YouTube and play it back and jam along. And to help you even more, be sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. This is what I use for soloing over progressions like this, or even just playing the chords as well. I'm thinking about this system. So I wanna give it to you completely for free just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Also, before you go, let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support and we'll see you in another video real soon.